All right, Sean Sattel here with a man who is who's threatened the, who's threatening the records of Rocky Marciano, right. Joe Calzaghe, and Floyd Mayweather. My man, 41 and 0, Abel Mendoza, uh, man out of Texas, 28 years old. And I got I got to be honest, Abel, when you came up, I didn't first. It, it's shocking to that there's so many people in the sport who don't know who are 41 and 0. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a and a lot of people that. a lot of people don't believe that. I'm like, yeah, you know, I go to a, a gym. And I'll tell them, like, yeah, I'm a pro boxer. And, you know, they're like, oh, what's your record? And I'm like, ah, you wouldn't believe me. You know, I'm 41 and 0. And they're like, what? Yeah, come on, guy. So I'm like, oh, no, I'm actually 41 and 0. Let me show you. And I show them. And, you know, people don't believe me, but uh, it's how it is, you know. I'm just, I feel like I'm uh, one of boxing's biggest secrets. Well, take me, well, how could you explain it to fans? How could something like this happen? How could a guy. From Texas, American guy, got some swag, can be 41 and 0 and and not not in the real mix of the sport. I don't know how it's possible, man. Yeah. Maybe um, maybe I'm just not out there as much. You know, I'm not really. I don't really like make a lot of noise like these other fighters. Um, but if I have to, I will. You know, I'll go and shoot. I'll go and call somebody out. I'll push them. You know, if I have to do that to get a shot, I will. I don't want to be that guy, but I will be that guy if I have to. What, what brings you out to Canelo fight week? Um, just good fight, watching a good fight, man, and hoping to get a good shot. Did you, so I, I imagine, though, having some or all the major promoters approached you, what happened there? You know, I haven't, I haven't, um, I haven't, man. I've asked a few guys to ask them if I can fight them, fight a big name, um, but it hasn't happened. I don't know why. But I think the time is coming soon. I, I can feel it. So I'm just staying ready. You know, I was staying ready for, for this fight. If somebody fell through, um, if they caught me in a one-week notice, you know, I, I stay ready just in case there's an injury for another fighter. I could go in and, hey, I'm ready. And, you know, just staying ready. So that, that there's never been talks. PBC, Matchroom, Top Rank, they've never been like, they never even reached out for, for anything? Um, no, no. Uh, they haven't reached out to me. I've ask people you know if they can get, get that fight for me but it hasn't happened okay so for people who are there are probably gonna be a lot of people who go check the highlights after yeah. watching this interview but um for, what do you think can make you a champion and not just a guy with a nice record but a guy that can beat champions and lightweight yeah. is loaded you know yeah. yeah what do i think i think that i've done everything to deserve that shot you know, I think I deserve a, an opportunity at one of the best because I'm 41-0, you know, I'm asking for the big fights, I'm staying ready. I think that I'm doing everything right, in my opinion. Uh, so I think I deserve it now. What else do I have to do? Maybe I got to go and push it, that guy. Maybe I got to go and, you know, hey, fight me. Yeah. You know, if that's what I have to do, I'm going to do it. Yeah, maybe let it be known on social media or something. Yeah, maybe so I got the world the, today. Yeah, yeah, but we want to fight the best. You know, I, I it doesn't, it doesn't. There's no point of being 41 and 0 if I'm not fighting the best. You know, and I want to fight the best. Who's some of the guys you sparred that the fans will know? I think uh, I sparred a lot of like with uh, Oscar Valdez, his last cap. Um, I I stay in San Diego, so I got in some work with him. Um, I've sparred Christopher Diaz back in the day. Um, I've sparred Angelo Leo way back. You know, and so you know, I think I think I I've, I've been there, so seen that. You know, I, mean, I fought in the amateurs. I fought some of the best, so I think I deserve a shot. How how would a fight with you and say you know Javante Davis look? Shakur Stevenson, yeah. those two guys. Well, Tank, man, you know, I'm a fighter that can take a punch. You know, and I don't mind receiving a punch to give an even harder punch. You know, a lot of people probably don't think I deserve that shot, but you know, when if that fight happens, they'll see. Mm. What do you think your best attributes as a fighter are? I think um, that that's it right there. I can take a punch. You know, and I don't mind receiving a punch to give an even harder punch. So, um, my speed, my body shots. Uh, I have a lot of. Just, you know, I have a good defense, I believe. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I like the action. I like to fight. I like to stay in the pocket and work. You know, even even when guys have money backing them, it's hard to get dates in the yeah. sport in America. How have you managed to get 41 of them? 
you know, in, in the last several years. How, yeah, how, how, how's that fun? Like, how, how's that been? You know, how have you pulled that off? Uh, you know, I, I got to, you know, a lot of fighters, they care about money. And I don't really care about money. I just care about, hey, give me a fight. Give me a fight. Give me a fight. And I don't care. I, I'm not like these fighters that, you know, want these type of purses. You know, they, and I, you know, that's cool. It's up to them. But I'm a fighter that I don't mind going and, you know, fighting for pocket change just to get a fight. I, I love to fight, you know. And um, I think that's what makes the difference between these fighters and me. What would you say, because um, I, you know, I'm thinking a step ahead. The naysayers in the comments of the interview. Who's this guy? Forty one and oh. Who would he fight? Forty one yeah. nobodies or whatever. What yeah. would you what would you say to the fans who would say something? I would like say that? I agree with them hundred percent. I mean I haven't fought anybody. They're they're right. They're completely right. And that's why I'm here because I want to fight somebody. I want to fight and I not just anybody, but I want to fight the best. You know, I don't want to it, it, like I said before, it doesn't matter if I'm fifty, you know, if I haven't fought anybody. You know, it, it makes it doesn't matter, you know. I, it, I could be, it, it would be better if I was one and no, but I fought against the world champion. You know, it's so until I fight the best, then I won't be satisfied. Well, we asked, we started the interview um, asking what, what you came out for. You're like, you know, I came out for the fight, but is this actually what you came out for? Like, hey, I gotta get to Vegas and let my face be yeah. seen by the by the yeah. boxing world and everything. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that's you know, I have to come out here. If I have to come out here, you know, I had a long drive. But uh, I'm hoping it's going to be worth it and they'll give me an opportunity. Yeah, you should get some work out here in Vegas. This is where yeah. all the champions spar yeah. and all that. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm here. I'm always working. I'm always at the gym. I went to the gym. I got here late yesterday and I went straight to the gym. You know, I'm always working. Um, when it, I'm right after here, I'm going to go to the gym and get some work. Uh, maybe go to the Mayweather gym. So. Yeah. Word, word travels fast in the Vegas gyms, man. I've, I've seen fighters get signed based off. Did you hear what so and so did in sparring with so and so? So, yeah, man, get that working. Yeah, in Vegas. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. hoping to do that. I'm hoping to do that. <laughs> hoping they'll see, and you know, I'm just hoping to get an opportunity. Abel, best of luck, man, and I and I hope uh, we get to see you in those opportunities you're looking for, man, sooner than later. Thanks yeah. for your time, man. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.